Hello everyone. This is Abhijit Paradkar from Patugala College of Commerce and Management. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about decision theory. So, what is a decision theory? So, decision theory means it is a statistical tool which helps in decision making when alternatives are available. It helps us to take best possible decision. When we are provided certain information, then only we take decision. In this statistical tool, this is decision theory help us. So what do you mean by statistical tool? So suppose we are having some numbers are given. So we can find addition, division, multiplication by using calculator. So your calculator is nothing but the tool. So in statistic, tool means either formula or method. Based on alternatives or information, it is categorized into four parts. Number one, under certainty. Under certainty means when we take decision under certainty, it will be possible when all the information are accurately given. Number two, under uncertainty. Under uncertainty means the information is not given proper way, that is in random way. So information given in random way, then it comes under uncertainty. Number three, under risks. Under risks means information or alternatives given are not reliable. For example, some someone told tomorrow this share price increase of some company. So if information given is not reliable, then you may risk your money. So such type of decision comes under risk. Number four, under conflict. Under conflict means there are two opposite informations are given. So the decision taking under this situation comes under conflict. Components of decision making. Number one, decision maker. Decision maker is nothing but individual or organization who makes a decision about situation or entity. Situation may be like leave of employee, shift of employee, and entity like management, production, salary, profit, export, import, of goods, and so on. But for the decision maker, it is necessary that it must possess deep knowledge of industry number two course of action course of action means checking alternatives or the information in order to take suitable decision we go through all the information are available and we check <coughs> by which information we can rely and take best suitable decision for example it may co contains act like produce 2000 units, 3000 units of a product depend on the needs and nece necessity company will decide how much it has to produce. Second, it may be also about outsourcing, working in multiple shapes and course of action is denoted by A1, A2, A3 and so on. state of nature state of nature it is the strategies or outcome based on course of action and natural situation of market is known as state of nature first thing what we are choosing certain action by using course of action so we are having course of action and also checking market situation for example if it is covid situation the share market will fall or rise that is what the natural situation of the market and it is denoted by S1, S2 and so on. Payoff Payoff means certain outcomes or result based on course of action and state of nature. Payoff table For the table which is given by outcome based on alternatives 
are available is known as payoff table. Decision making under un uncertainty. In this type, we will deal certain criteria. Maximin, Maximax, Minimin, Minimax Regret and Laplace. So let's see one by one. Number one, Maximin. In Maximin criteria, what we have to do first? First of all, it consists of two parts. First one is Max and second one is Min. So second word, we have to keep in bracket. What does it mean? It is nothing but maximum of minimum. Number two, maximax. Again, in maximax criteria, what we have to do? First of all, again it consists of two words. First one is max and another one is again max. So second word we have to keep in bracket. So again, what does it mean? It is nothing but maximum of maximum. Third, minimum. In minimum criteria, again it consists of two words. First one is mean and second one is also mean. So then we keep second word in bracket. That is minimum in bracket minimum. Minimax regret. For this purpose, we will provide a regret table. If not, then we will construct it. Laplace criteria. This is nothing but the average of all the actions. So first of all, we have to find average. In that, then we find maximum value. Now we will solve some examples. Given the following payoff table, find the optimal decision using criteria Maximin, Maximax and Laplace. So remember that there are two words in Maximin that is Max and Min. In Maximax, Max and Max and in Laplace is nothing but average. So how we will solve? First of all, we have to provide it the payoff table. It helps us to make decision. So see, here there are information given. Course of action, you can see A1, A2, A3. State of nature, that is S1, S2, S3. And certain information are given, that is in some numerical values are given. This is alternatives or information are available to make the decision using given criteria. So let's see solution. Since we have to find maximum and minimum value, so you must have to construct a table having columns, course of action, max, mean and average. So what we have to write in max column? So in course of action, you see arrows. So for action A1, we have to find maximum value. So maximum value among 25, 15 and 5 is 25. So we will write in max column, the maximum value of action A1 is 25. Similarly, for action A2, we have to find maximum value among 40, 0, 20 is 40. So again, we will write in max column, maximum value of action A2 is 40. And for action A3, maximum value among 2, 6 and 10 is 10. So in max column, maximum value is 10. Similarly, we also have to write information for minimum value okay so for corresponding to a1 check out what is the minimum value so among 25 15 and 5 
minimum value is 5 so minimum column value of a1 is 5 similarly for action a2 minimum value among 40 0 and 20 is 0 so in minimum column minimum value of action a2 is 0 and for action a3 minimum value among 2 6 and 10 is 2 so in minimum column minimum value of a3 is 2 now third part as we have to find for the laplace we will also find the average okay so first of all we have to find average of 25 15 and 5 average means what adding all the numbers and counting how many values is there that is 3 so we will divide sum of the numbers by total numbers that is 25 plus 15 plus 5 divided by 3 so 25 plus 15 plus 5 which is equals 20 45 so 45 divided by 3 that is 15 so action a1 average value is 15 similarly for action a2 40 plus 0 plus 20 that is 60 so 60 divided by 3 that is 20 and for action a3 average value is Two plus six plus ten that is eighteen so eighteen divided by three that is six so we will write average value of action a3 is six okay so now using this table we will find maximum criteria maximum x criteria and Laplace criteria so first maximum criteria so maximum means what max in bracket mean so first word we will write as it is and we will write minimum value from the above table in bracket that is 502 so you can see here we have written max as it is and in bracket we have written 502 now what we have to do we have to take maximum value among 502 and that value is 5 but which course of action we have to take so for that as 5 corresponding to a1 so action a1 will be based action with value 5 second one maximax we can see here maximum value consists of two words that is max in bracket max so instead of in bracket max we will write maximum values given above that is 25 40 10 among the 25 40 10 we have to find maximum value and that value is 40 we will see here 40 corresponding to action a2 so therefore a2 is best action with value 40 now Laplace criteria Laplace is nothing but maximum of average values and we already got average values so among that average values we have to find maximum average value that is max in bracket 15 26 is 20 so 20 corresponding to action a2 so therefore action a2 is based action with value 20 